Deuteronomy 24:18 Vezacharta ki evid hayita be Mitzrayim ve yifdecha Adonai Elohecha misham al kain anochi metzavecha la asot et hadavar haze so in today's verse, we're following uh, verse 17. Makes sense since we're in 18, but alas. Verse 17 is uh, how to treat the least of these. And uh, I find it interesting that this verse comes after that. This is a similar verse, if not almost identical to Deuteronomy 15.15, 15, but here now in the context of not uh, twisting judgment against the sojourner and the orphan and not taking the widow's garment in pledge. Therefore, or and... You shall remember, call perfect, second masculine singular of the verbal root zachar. This is a vekatal form. Notice the accent shifts down to the suformative. So that's going to be our indication of a vekatal, not just a vav conjunctive on the perfect. So, and you shall remember that, here's our explanatory key, that servants you were, or a servant you were, if we think about this in the singular, but again, thinking about the, nas- the nation of Israel, in Egypt. Verb here, call perfect, second masculine singular of the verbal root haya, and let's always point this out, third hey, third vav yod, third yod right there, hayita. So slaves you were in Egypt, and the Lord your God here, serving as the subject, he redeemed you, 2ms pronominal suffix. Verb here is call imperfect third masculine singular. Verbal root is pada. We get another third hey. Here it drops because of the 2ms suffix that we add there to the end. The Lord your God redeemed you from there. Therefore, I, serving as the subject, am, I am commanding you. Here's a PL participle of the verbal root sava, masculine singular plus the two ms suffix i am commanding you to do call infinitive construct verbal root asa direct object marker to do this word now this is essentially saying you shall treat others namely the least of these in verse 17 uh, with respect and dignity and you should remember where you came from and i sure hope that Uh, Those of us who are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ can treat others with dignity because we're reminded of where the Lord has brought us. Uh, We were not that great when he sought us out. And so this is a good reminder to us. Remember that you were slaves to sin, we might say, and the Lord redeemed you from that. And so treat others as you would want to be treated.